Atlanta, I'm Nidhi Razdan. Delhi University's Ramjas College became a battleground today with clashes between student groups over invitations to JNU students for a talk. As each side hurls bitter accusations against the other, has the room for free, peaceful political debate, especially on our campuses, shrunk. Also tonight, farmers may be dying, people may be protesting for jobs, but Telangana's chief minister has other priorities, donating 5.6 crores to a temple today in taxpayer money. Watch how his party, the TRS, defends him later on the show. But first tonight, the ugly clashes on the Delhi University campus of Ramjas College. It was the RSS student wing, the ABVP on one side, and students protesting the college's decision to cancel a talk by JNU students Omar Khaled and Shaila Rashid on the other. Omar Khaled, if you remember, was one of those students who was charged in the JNU sedition row last year, but is currently out on bail. A head injury of a college student after two groups clashed. One led by the RSS student wing, the ABVP, and the other by students protesting against Monday's cancellation of a talk titled The Culture of Dissent at Ramjas College with JNU student leaders Omar Khalid and Shela Rashid. Clashes began as students who had gathered outside Ramjas College to protest against the seminar being cancelled were not allowed to begin their march. The media was not allowed inside campus as news snuck out that clashes had began between the two factions inside the college campus. The ABVP group then came out of the college onto the road where the other group was already present, resulting in more scuffles. Twenty students and at least one teacher were reportedly injured. One or two stone pelting is there. We are taking legal action on that also. So far, no FIR has been filed. Both sides claim that they did not start the violence. They have thrown stones. Several friends are in the hospital with severe wounds in their heads. Umar was booked for sedition last year for allegedly shouting anti-national slogans during an event in JNU. The Delhi court granted him six-month interim bail because of lack of evidence. A year since what we saw in JNU, similar scenes being repeated here in Delhi University. Students being heckled, violence on the streets in the name of protest. Even as college administration and police authorities remained silent on this nationalism debate, a complaint was forwarded on the behalf of those who got injured to the police. With camera person Jagdish Prasad and Ishad Rita Lahiri, Tonima Biswas for NDTV. Well, joining us tonight, we have Professor Devraj Mukherjee, Associate Professor at Ramjas College. Shaila Rashid, who's been in the middle of this controversy, is here in the studio with us. Professor Rakesh Sinha of the RSS with us tonight, Aman Sinha of the BJP, and we'll be joined by the ABVP very shortly. And Professor Apurvanan from the University of Delhi is joining us from Ahmedabad tonight. And uh, it's not just to talk about what's happened in the Ramjas College today, but also about the suspension of another professor in Jodhpur uh, over the organization of a seminar, which we'll get to in just, in just a little while from now. Uh, but Professor Mukherjee, let me ask you first, sir, uh, you know, what exactly happened, uh, you know, how did this issue uh, begin and how did it escalate to this point where we've seen this violence uh, on campus all day today? Uh, it's, uh, it's always uh, difficult to look for a rational reason for violence, but if I could uh, identify one important flag, an important issue here, that the primary objection to... Uh, 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 the seminar per se was the invite to Umar Khalid and there was a representation and that was an honest representation in which there were conversations with uh, people who objected to his being called and there was a conversation over it and they said openly that we shall oppose but they said we shall oppose peacefully and we said you can uh, demonstrate which is your right you can enter the conference hall you can ask difficult questions if you wish so it did not look like it was going to be violent. However, they said that we will resist actively, we will prevent him from coming into the college. And the advisory from the police was that under the circumstances, it would be wise not to have him come because there was also a perception of threat to him and general violence. So his invitation was cancelled. After his invitation was cancelled, I can't understand why there should be violence because violence usually occurs when a position adopted by one side is actively and proactively opposed by the other side. But in this case, there was acquiescence. I'm not saying whether the acquiescence was uh, right or wrong, but there was acquiescence to their request. Why the violence escalated after that actually uh, is something that uh, needs deeper thinking. 
and and speculation perhaps but professor mukherjee let me ask you that uh, that that question that you raised yourself uh, whether the acquiescence was right or wrong and i'm asking you whether it was right because uh, ultimately the question will be asked that did the college authorities bow down to pressure from a student group that was threatening violence and does that set the right precedent i understand that it's a difficult situation for the authorities to be in and you don't want things to get out of control you don't want things to get ugly but the counter question would be that should the college have stood its ground and said we will not be intimidated or bullied into or cowed down by threats of violence see under this what you're saying is right in theory it sounds good I mean, if I was sitting in your position and you were teaching in Ramjas College, I would have asked you this exact question, because we stood there, we bore the brunt, we tried to blunt uh, the level of escalation. But the fact is, even with the cancellation, if you have this level of violence, can you imagine what would have happened if he had actually come there? I mean, uh, I mean, uh, it, it, the question <laughs> answers itself. But in principle, yes, I think everybody must have the freedom to express their views, and whether I whether I agree with Umar Khalid's views or not. I fully, fully agree to the fact that he has the right to speak and address audiences wherever he is invited. In fact, the important thing here, uh, Nidhi, is that he was to speak on a panel in which he was to talk about Bastar, which is his PhD work. He wasn't actually called as an activist. I mean, that would have been okay also, perhaps. But he was called to speak on a specific topic, which is the area of research that he is pursuing at JNU. So, uh, should a researcher be able to present his work uh, in an academic seminar uh, and should uh, his political beliefs otherwise impede him from coming and presenting his views in academic... In an, for example, Chomsky yeah, is a no, great absolutely. linguist at MIT. He's also an activist. Yeah. He's also an activist. So, when he's speaking as a professor of linguistics, he keeps his act activism aside. Uh, so, so there has to be some demarcation. And, and you know, uh, I understand, what, uh, sir. I uh, understand what you're saying also on the difficult position that college authorities are placed in. And you're right. It's very easy for us to sit here and ask you these questions that should you have stood your ground when you know that the fallout can be something, uh, you know, and, and if this is what it's like after you've cancelled it, I shudder to think what would have happened if you had gone ahead. Yeah. But Professor Rakesh Sinha, the point then is that, you know, the ABVP had every right to protest. They could have asked Omar Khalid difficult questions, as the professor says. Why block his entry into the college? Let him speak. Before answering your question, I'm like, uh, it is very unlikely to accept the comparison between Omar Khalid and Chomsky. I have a serious differences with Chomsky, but, but you can't compare the two. Look, the Omar Khalid represents anti-India sentiment and anti-India forces. He is the one person who demands the separate uh, 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 independence of Kas Kashmir, for which our, our armed forces are sacrificing their lives. Then you withdraw your armed forces. You, you give, uh, Sir, Omar, if you go to the Kashmir give, University you, campus, we, we are, most are, students are, there will also no, say we want independence from Nidhi, India. We are counting but we engage with no, them. No, Nidhi, we are counting branches. We are not going to the root cause. In lo look, in California University just now, Milo Inupolis uh, seminar was cancelled. Because he's in, in delicate language, injurious languages, which were going to create... I don't a, think that create, was right either. No, it could create a law and order problem. So I th That Omar was equally wrong. Let, yeah, I agree. It's let equally me, let wrong. Me, that is me, equally let, wrong. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let, let me complete, let me complete. Uh, my, uh, the, the real problem is that there are certain people who are imposing war against India inside India. Then you free the anti-India forces but he's, from okay, Pakistan. But Professor Sinha, let me, let me just ask you, he's, he's currently on bail. He got interim bail from the High Court. Uh, with the High Court saying that there wasn't enough evidence to keep him behind bars. Okay, there is no charge sheet that has Indeed. been filed against him yet, even though that sedition case is there, but the charge sheet hasn't happened yet. Now, for all practical purposes, until a court convicts, convicts him, he is on interim bail. And I'm saying, ABVP has every right to protest and every right to ask him difficult questions. But why prevent the guy and, and why threaten the college with, with violence? Nidhi, because that's why we, they called we, it off. We can't invoke freedom of expression uh, on uh, every and each, uh, each and every case. Here, and the ca case is different. Of it, let, let, this is not. This is technical matter that court has not granted. Okay, court has not given the verdict. We all know his views on Kashmir, and there was a new demand. So the you can kill him for his views, Bastar, right? Bastar ki aajadi, Bastar ki aajadi. We can't allow such people to uh, but attend camps. Such people, Kashmir. I think he is just. I am saying, Professor Sinha. We are very clear. What? The, no, the I'm asking you very no, no, excuse me. One excuse second, me. one second, excuse Shaila. Me. If you go to Kashmir University yeah. campus, yeah. students will chant Azadi there. You know, but we still have to find a way to engage with them. We're not going to declare all of them anti-national and we don't. So, yeah. 
No, I'm Nidhi, saying what, Nidhi, what is what Nidhi, is Nidhi, Rakesh Sinha's answer to this? Are you going to, you going to not engage Nidhi, with him because he has a no, point of view? You can disagree with him. What is Rakesh Sinha's answer to this? One, one no, no, second. I, 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 yeah. I'm no, no, you cannot justify stone, violence. Stone, 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 this stone was thrown at my I'm, head I, I, I'm by ABDP no, people. I'm I'm what are you discussing? You are discussing now. Do you support this? You tell me your view on this. Okay, shall I let him finish? No, no, let him finish. I'll come to you. Do you justify this violence or not? Have patience. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, the exemplary patience was shown by ABDP people today on the street, sir. You should have come. Okay, okay, Shella, one second. Give me 30 seconds and engage with okay. them. Shella, Shella, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Let me come okay. Don't, don't Abhishek, make a strict debate. They don't make a strict debate. Uh, there are two things. First thing that this time one new slogan was added. That is the Ajadi of Bastar. We can fight against Where Pogba. Where it was added? What are you saying? Why are you making baseless charges and why are you making, why are you spreading lies? Nidhi, I, you, are I, I, I know, I know, you are speaking I know lies. I know, I know. You are speaking lies. What is this Basta I'm a liar. I'm what is I'm the evidence? You are, you are, you are Go and file a sedition okay, case like you failed. Shall I let, let him finish? finish. No, I'll give you wrong. Yeah, he's let him finish. Lies here. Let, let him, let, let him finish. 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 Show me the evidence. ABVP people have been pelting stones for two days in Ram just college. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Don't show your sophisticated. She needs headlines. Okay, one second. Oh, shall I? 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 Kill me! You Come are. On, you have me. a stone. You Come have a stone. Come on, kill me. See, the this the stone, stone was thrown at my head by the ABP people. Okay, 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 Professor Sena. Okay, one second. One second. Professor Sena, one second. One. Oh, Shaila, Shaila, Shaila. I have a question. Are you going to say? Did Did any of the students on your side, any of the students on your side of this debate? Indulge in any violence? No. And please be honest here. No, no, no. Are you completely denying no. that any yes. students were yes, supporting you? Yes, I'm No, no, excuse me. Let her finish. Excuse me. I'm going to take a break. If this is because of this, please. It's becoming very dumb. Someone make this liar shut up. She has abused the RSS and she has provoked. Okay, RSS. I'm asking you, sir. Sir, let me ask you. I'm going to take a break because this is not the way to do it. Shaila, can you answer that question? Are you saying, yeah, yeah, are you no denying any violence? No, I did anything. We did not even resist the attack. I was dragged by my hair and I was, this stone was thrown at my head. A bigger stone was thrown here and I was dragged by the ABVP mob and I was, and this has happened to every student. They have thrown bricks on students. Students are bleeding and they are, they, they have been admitted to hospitals. Mm. And this shameless person here, he is spreading okay, lies about Okay, no personal attacks. Yeah, Shaila, no personal attacks. No, 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 no,